It's a perfect transition to what happened yesterday in overtime. Rivalry renewed. The hole's getting deeper and deeper. They're back. Denny Hamlin, Ross Chastain going at it. Old friends meet again. <laughs> and, and, you know, this was there on that late race restart. And, and Brandon McReynolds spots for Ross Chastain. I called him on the way to the studio and see, it's still going on down the back straightaway. I said, tell me what happened earlier in the race that provoked this. He said, Dad, absolutely nothing. But here's what just, I, I just shake my head. Denny Hamlin doing that, both of them were going to have a top 10 finish. Not only did he end Ross Chastain's day, he ended his own day. They go back there and finish 23rd and 24th. I, I, I have a tough time connecting those dots. Yeah, it didn't make a lot of sense, Larry. And watching it from a bird's eye perspective, it appeared Denny got a little loose, a little tight, chased his race car up the racetrack, and just happened to be between he and uh, Ross Chastain. This tells Chastain. a story here, but, but, I think. But this tells a different story. You see Ross Chastain's in car on the right. He's right against the wall. He gets squeezed into the wall, but take a look at Denny Hamlin's in-car camera on the left. He throttles back up, going down the back straight. You want gives some him more? A shot. <laughs> you he want some more? He gives him a couple of shots, and then he even gives him another shot getting into turn three. So, like you said, Adam, so something doesn't make sense here, but but I, I think Denny's got that that shovel, and, and he's he's digging in the in the dirt a little bit. Let me tell you, when, when you go back and forth every week to the West Coast, it, it, it clouds your mind. Sometimes maybe you don't make the best decisions. Let's hope this one is behind us. So Ross